Anyone else for citizen's time? Come on up. Got to read this. Good evening, board, Mr. McCullough. I'm from, I'm Jenny DeMarco, and I'm from the Cedar Run District. Um, so, frankly, I really don't want to be standing here tonight, but I'm not getting any responses to my emails. And it's hard for me to stay silent after figuring out that one individual in the entire Fauquier County government is responsible for approving multiple cell phone towers under 20-7 of the Fauquier County Coronavirus Emergency Ordinance. With a stroke of a pen, Mr. Paul S. McCullough bypassed planning, zoning, architectural review, environmental and community impact reviews, and public comment, and not one person in here stood up and said that is wrong. So here I am. As I mentioned in my letter that I submitted last week, I will be submitting everything cited in my emails to you and to the, into the county record. However, I'd like to read a few things in the county record right now. First, there are at least two instances where the coronavirus emergency ordinance that allowed you to waive the entire tower approval process was invoked. However, I'm now fairly certain there are more. How is the public to know when one of these towers is going to be placed by their homes or on their property if it's done in secrecy? Was that the point of invoking 20-7 just days before it expired? I understand you all value getting internet service to our rural areas of this community and I am not anti-technology. However, it doesn't have to be at the expense of the public or the public process. I have an overview of the eight asks <coughs> that I also included in the letter that I will submit to you tonight as well. There are thousands of peer-reviewed independent studies showing biological harm to humans, animals, and the environment from microwave radiation, which is the type of radiation coming off of these towers. RFR, which is microwave radiation, is a class 2B carcinogen listed in the same category as lead by the World Health Organization and incident environmental pollutant. Cell phone towers emit carbon dioxide and contribute to greenhouse gases, and these 5G plus base stations and wireless telecommunications facilities can use up to three and a half times more power than existing 4G base stations. And although we may all be adversely impacted by microwave radiation at different rates, our children are disproportionately affected and suffer greater behavioral, emotional, and health impacts from RFR. On August 13th last year, the DC Court of Appeals labeled the science behind FCC's current RFR limits arbitrary and capricious. In that lawsuit, there are nearly 11,000 pages of evidence of biological harm occurring at exposures to microwave radiation far below the FCC safety limits, proving the current FCC guidelines are not protective enough for the public, especially our children. These towers don't belong in parks. Your hands may be tied when it comes to resisting these towers due to our health, but you cannot ignore the fact that they are a risk, and where there is risk, there should be precautions. These towers certainly can be regulated based on aesthetics or location placement, height, how many rings they have, type of tower, and how much radiation. I have one more, two more sentences, if that's okay. Help yourself. Okay. They can also be regulated as far as how much radiation is coming off of them. I know there's a big, a big fiber project coming here to Fauquier, and I congratulate you on bringing fiber to this community. However, there is fiber, where there is fiber, wireless follows. <coughs> and before you lay fiber to 10,000 homes across Fauquier, we need protective ordinances regulating these towers away from the places our community spends the most of their time. Technological progress and public protections are not mutually exclusive. And I will be following up on this. Thank you. Thank you. I have something for each of you, so do I hand that in? To it should be a basket right there beside the speaker. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. 